Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Rise, Wine, and Dine. Today in our kitchen, we are making easy lasagna. This recipe is so easy, literally. It's pretty much a one-pot lasagna, which goes into your casserole dish, and it's pretty easy to do. So the ingredients today you'll need to do this recipe is onion, green pepper, spaghetti sauce, water, Italian dressing, we have some ground beef today we're using for a meat, cheese, I'm using old cheese today, that's what my husband just loves, and we have some lasagna noodles that are oven ready, we don't need to boil these today. So they're right ready to go right into our dish. So the very first thing we're going to do today is we're going to pop our onion right into our heated pot right now. We have about four tablespoons of olive oil into our pot right now. We're gonna pop in our onion and get that going. And in with our onion right now, we'll pop in our green pepper as well. So we're just gonna salt and pepper our green pepper and our onion right now. Pepper, black pepper. Keep this a stir. So once our green pepper and onion has been sauteed, we're gonna come back and show you guys the next step. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so as you guys can tell, we have our onion and green pepper sauteing here. It's going really nice. I love the smell of onion. So we're gonna make like a little well in our pot here right now. And we're going to pop in really quickly our ground beef. And we're going to get that all cooked up. Just get our ground beef going. At this point right now, we can salt and pepper our ground beef again. This is just one time salting and peppering the ground beef your ground beef until it turns a really nice brown and there's no more pink showing. So right now that the ground beef is already brown and it's fully cooked through, we're just going to mix and the pepper right through with the meat. It's all in one pot here. I'm just going to stir everything out real well and just keep cooking it for a couple more minutes. So there's our oven preheated. So to our ground beef, onion, and green pepper mixture, we're going to pour in our water right now. And we're also going to put in our Italian dressing. So we'll just give this a stir. And also right now, we're going to pop in our spaghetti sauce. Turn our heat down to about medium heat right now. stir through. This is looking good already. Looks so yummy. We're just going to take our 12 noodles and we're just going to crack those into like three or four pieces. Some three and some four pieces and just put it right down into our sauce. These noodles again are oven ready so they don't need to be boiled. Just pop those right down in. So as you guys can see, our noodles are literally down into our sauce. So we're going to take our sauce right now and we're just going to stir through our noodles. Just want to coat all your noodles. noodles right now are covered in our sauce so we're going to pop this back onto our burner on just a medium heat and we're going to cover it and let it sit there for 10 minutes 10 15 minutes so we're going to keep an eye on our sauce we're not going to go very far when we're ready for the next step we're going to come back and show you guys stick around okay guys so I've just shut off my burner and I've let my noodles sit in with my sauce and boil in with my sauce 
for about 10 minutes. That's fine for me. So I just shut off the burner right now and we're just going to let that cool down for a second. Stop from boiling completely. And then when that happens, we're just gonna put in half our mixture right into our dish. We're gonna put in about half of our mixture right now. And our baking dish, our casserole dish, has been liberally greased with lots of cooking spray. So we're gonna put in about half of this mixture. And it doesn't have to go imperfect because this is called lazy lasagna. You can be a little bit um, particular with it, but you don't have to be. So next what we're gonna do is put on half of our cheese, half of our grated cheese. My husband loves old cheese, so this is what he's getting in his lasagna tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the other half of our mixture. Spread the sauce over the top. Again, as best you can, and it does not have to be perfect. That's the fun thing with this lazy lasagna. So we're gonna go ahead and add on the rest of our cheese. So we're going to take our lazy lasagna right now, pop it into a preheated oven on 350 degrees from anywhere to 30 to 45 minutes. So when our lazy lasagna is done and comes out of the oven, we're going to come back and show you guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay, you guys, so we're back and we've just taken our lasagna out of the oven about a half an hour ago 45 minutes ago i wanted to let it just cool and let it set because it's supposed to set really good once you take it out of the oven it's still a little bit warm it was in the oven for 30 minutes on 350 degrees just so you guys know so right now we're going to cut into a piece and just show you guys how it looks ready for this? There we go. Meat's falling out of it. And there you guys have your lazy lasagna. So we hope that you and your family will check out this magnificent recipe. It's so easy to do. You guys just seen and learned how to do it. It's so easy. It can be prepared any night during the week. You can make it on the weekend and you could let it cool down and cut it into sections and freeze it for the next week or the next two weeks. Just freeze individual pieces for um, if you're going to work, an easy night meal when you come home from work. If you're in a rush and you just need something quick with a bit of protein, you have your lazy lasagna right there. And if you like our video today here on Rise, Vaughn and Dine, give our video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you guys right here next time on Rise, Vaughn and Dine. Have a good day, everybody.